So we all know that the seedling stage is a crucial stage for getting a foundation for your plant, developing a root zone, and running off of the momentum from the seedling stage, we get into the early veg stage, which is crucial for developing a plant that is going to yield really high, yet still be small. We'll set up a foundation to create a plant that is small, yet wide, and yields extremely high. But how do we get this desired shape from a veg plant starting at the early veg stage? You set a foundation, you set a fundamental route for your plant in the early veg stage, and the results are extremely amazing. So we're going to talk about how do you train your plants in the early veg stage to get the most high yielding plants you can create. My name is Cannabis Express 420. If this is your first time here, I suggest you click the white or black subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. I upload two times a week, at least on Mondays and Thursdays, educating everyone on cannabis and how to grow it, training techniques, everything from feeding, lighting, humidity, all of that good stuff that you need. So with that being said, let's just get into the topic of the day. So if you're in the early veg stage already, it is safe to say you have made a good transition from the red or colored solo cup to a one or possibly three gallon pot, maybe even a five gallon. Uh, if you really want to test your luck, if you got your watering down, it should not be a problem, no matter what pot size you put it in. But that is kind of besides the point because we're going to be talking about the training. So when you're in the early veg stage, you'll notice your plant is starting to grow extremely quickly. Uh, you'll have noticeable growth every 24 hours, roughly. It does not take long for this plant to decide to grow quickly, especially if you had a really healthy seedling stage and it had no issues through that. It is going to be very noticeable to growth. So how do you manage it and what are you going to do? What are you going to look for um, when you're trying to create a plant that has a lot of tops without putting it through too much stress? To get the desired effects, it is most effective to start by squeezing the base of the plant um, somewhere in the bottom inch of the main stem and kind of twisting it, squeezing it, getting it malleable in your hands. Uh, by this point, you shouldn't have a very tall plant, and its flesh has not started to become a bark yet because it is, it is not a mature plant and it is not ready to harden like bark. So it is still soft, it is still malleable, and this is something you're going to want to take advantage of as a grower who wants a high yield. You're going to twist and get that malleable, really work it, really take your time because doing this kind of training, it is a very high risk to snap your plants in half if you don't work them enough. But any plant, any branch can be malleable with enough work, with enough effort. Eventually you can't do it with your bare hands because they get so thick, but that's not at all what we're gonna be talking about today. You're gonna wanna do your best to bend it low, approximately parallel to your soil, your growing medium, and just make sure the leaves are not touching. Once you get the desired shape with the plant bent over, what you're going to notice is that there's a lot of nodes on the side of your plant. Now, these nodes are extremely important because what was happening was your plant was growing straight up as it naturally does, growing into that Christmas tree shape. However, you are interfering with that and making it so more than just the one top is now facing the light. Now, bending it over is all fine and dandy. However, it is not where you're gonna stop with this training technique. Now, to do this properly, you're gonna need some tools. You're either gonna need some, some type of garden wire that you can stick down into the soil or paper clips or something that you can bend and make into a hook shape and then claw down your plant, uh, preferably in two places if you have something small. Cannabis plants are extremely strong, extremely resilient, and they're going to pretty much want to grow no matter what, and they're always going to want to have their top facing the light. Now, if you can hold down the main stem 
what's going to happen is all of the tops are going to become their own branches and they're going to be nearly as strong as tops. And you can take this even further and as those branches start to grow, you can actually bend them over too, exposing even more tops. And you can make your plant as wide as you desire. As long as your pot size stays appropriate, you should not have a problem with growing your plant extremely strong while still being extremely stout and short. And this is going to be important, especially if you're limited limited on growth space if you have say a five foot tall room and you want to grow a high yielding plant but you only have two feet to work with when it comes to factoring in your light space which you're going to want to be able to adjust quite a bit because it can get in the way if your plant ends up growing 90 percent of your grow height and then you only have 10% of that room to be able to move your light in when you would rather have 75, 50% of the room to be able to move your light in so you don't risk your plant burning um, beyond your control. So that's something to look out for and that's kind of where I would apply it uh, if I had a room where I was growing in limited space. Um, if I wanted to grow an extremely high yielding plant in general, that is something I would do rather than topping it which has a higher recovery period sure you will get a yield bonus but you will also get a yield bonus that is equal if not better um, because you will also have a slightly shorter growth period um, because it takes a lot less recovery time for the inside of the plant to heal rather than an entire open wound to heal so i hope this video helped you guys I hope you guys can take this knowledge and apply it to your plants and hopefully have higher yielding plants than you normally would. The number one strategy really is just to make sure there are as many tops as possible. And this is a really good training technique to use when you want to get as many tops as possible. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.